Oh no, now I am recording. There's Brianna getting situated. Hold on, it keeps going blurry on my auto fix. Brianna, what are you doing? Sleeping. Haha, <laughs> 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 you can get me, you can get me. <clears throat> Brianna, stop looking away. Goofy and silliness of Brianna. Shut up. Your hair clip is not even holding nothing. I mean. I know. I know. <laughs> Did you see my face on? Hardly. Lower it. Lower. I got your forehead. Now you gotta look at the camera. There you could, go. Could you see me? You gotta move Does it. Doesn't matter. Let me video you. Yeah, here you go. You go. You go. You go. There you go. Now you're at your forehead. <laughs> There you go. Alright, you can see me on Yeah, no, okay. now it's the wall. A little. Brianna, am I that close where you can't see me no, at all? No, you're not close, you're just really far Good. away. You're... Brianna, it's fine. That light is bright. We gotta get more organized. All your stuff's all over the place. That's My bag's stuff. right here because I got, got stuff I'm going through right now. Hey, my stuff is cozy. Alright, we're just sitting inside the tent right now because it's raining outside and got the screen uncovered because it's a little humid in here right now. Hopefully it'll cool down here after a while. Yeah, up behind here is nothing but straight wood. It goes all the way up into the parkway. You got a high tension area up there. Uh, we plan on doing some hiking up there tomorrow. This it's is, swimming. Right now it is Thursday. July, July 3rd, it's 8.29 p.m. This is, again, this is day one. This is our introduction video, Brianna, just us hanging out in the tent. I do have a book we're going to read here. It's a book, uh, Bigfoot book called Eve. Do you remember the author's name that I told you? Don't tell me. Suzanne. No, I'm thinking of her names. Uh, Patty something, maybe. Where are you getting these names from? I don't know. I don't remember. Or, no, uh, I don't know. I, I can't see. J. J.M. Bailey. Yeah. Well, the, light's are you that really, the light's really bright for me. J.M. Bailey. We're going to read, uh, here's our book we're going to read together. Hold on here. Let me get a better look at this as a camcorder comes into focus here. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm getting a headache. This is a really great book. And we're going to wait till it gets darker to read this here. And we got, we'll have our lantern. We've got plenty of lights in here. Um, but yep. Our first uh, night here in the tent. We're going to relax. Uh, it's actually pretty cool just hanging out here right now. Um, I might actually end up going to make some coffee. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is uh, Daniel Benoit and Brianna Benoit, father and daughter. Our 4th of July weekend camping out here in Sharando and uh what peace out <laughs> <laughs> you know pe other people are going to see this right Brianna yep that's why I did it and you know what you, you probably you might end up meeting some of these people later on so oh, God. <laughs> yep. that's why like, I was just saying, I don't you know. already met Fred so you seen Fred when he came to the house. That's when I was just say I don't even know you. I don't even know that girl in the video. Oh, okay. Alright. Put that light off. Right. Can't see anything.
Oh, it's the it's the light, so you can see in the dark. I see. I can see. I see. Uh -huh. Anyway, well, when it gets dark, I won't have that light on. I'll have the night vision on. So. Are you still recording? Yep. Dad. All right, we are out. She's so pretty. Uh, yeah, it disappeared into the... No, she's still there. I know, but... Oh, uh, yeah. My camcorder's not picking it up too well. I think I might have got a small bit of it, but... Yeah. We're going to see a lot of those. <laughs> I got a 12-point buck off the Appalachian Trail one time. Oh, wow. Walk right in front of them. Mm. Just how that deer passed in front of us, Brianna? Yeah. Squashes could do the same thing. So just like, you know. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's pretty good that you spotted it. Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. I just looked up and I said deer. Kids <laughs> have good eyes. Yep. If you lose something on the ground, kids can find it. Oh, them. yeah. They're closer to the ground. Dad, are you still there? Roger's going to be the first one to spot something. Daddy, can we go up in the middle of the woods? No, right now we're going to stay on in the open area for now. Yeah, we'll see. What if there is kids down here? Yeah. It's all right, Brianna. It's going to be okay. I'm going to tip on the one. You're fine. Okay. Oh, look, Daddy. Pretty flowers. <laughs> you might see some more deer, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if that a little trick. It looks so cool. Brianna, I know this is a hard, this is a hard moss and stuff. Yeah? I mean, a lot of these small areas, this is where you want to, right here, this is kind of soft. You want to keep your eyes open and look through this stuff. You know, I mean, you might get bear tracks, you might get any kind of tracks. Bear dummy. Yeah. No, it's just called bear scabbery, huh? Oh, Daddy, I want to go all the way down there. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I want to go in that little ditch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm going to go in there. I think it's a small little creek. A dry creek bed or something. Be careful walking down here, Brianna. You don't slide down these rocks. We should have one of those things where people fall You want to kind of almost walk sideways, Brianna. See what I'm doing? Uh -huh. And it'll give you a little bit more grip going down. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Now, be careful. It's going to be a little tricky coming up here, Brianna. Is this what you do when you're off on your roads in there? Yep. All right. Definitely three shown. It looks like a possible four one there, but I don't know. It might just be like a really big like mountain lion or something. It was a sad scratch leaning up against this side, had his feet up there to prop him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty interesting. In a rainstorm, That's of. really cool. <laughs> Sasquatches are so rare. Yeah. You know, you're lucky if you see one in your life. You know, it took me 35 years to see four of them, and two were by accident, so. Rare. See, Brianna, this is like, especially creek beds like this. Yeah. Look for, for sandy areas, soft areas where you may pick up tracks and what you want to look for. Kind of like that? Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of this. Is a lot of rocks. It's gonna be hard to find Sorry, stuff in here. Nope. That's yeah. why. That's what you want to look for. That's why you got to be observant and look, always look around. And watch where you're going. Yeah, I'm going to go back up this way here, because this will bring us, yeah, back out to the power lines out that way. So. Yeah, we'll go back out there. Yeah, well, maybe if it gets clear enough. A lot of it's real thick. Just watch your step coming up here, Brianna. Thank you. 
Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, nest or any any form or type of shelter that would be great to find. Now, so we got over here. We got a few down trees over here. We, but the way there might find something over here with a cluster of stuff here. Hiking and exploring the parkway here. Uh, how old and fresh is this tree? I've got a big down dead tree over here. What's that, Brianna? It's like a little... Yeah, a little mini x blade on the ground. Oh, Daddy! What's, what, what do you see? It looks like little tunnels. Like little what? It's like little worm tunnels. Yeah, that's what I... You know what? It almost looks like... Yeah, that's probably all it is, but they almost look like paw marks on the side of that hole. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why she was talking about the tunnel, like the, you know how bugs make little tunnels on the side of the dirt? Yeah, that's what it looked like. I told her it looked like little claw marks in there. Did you roll that rock out of there? No, because I walked through, I saw the, I saw it before she did. Just didn't really pay no mind to it though. Yeah. Oh yeah. That bear flipped that rock over looking for dinner. Yep. And now they're on that side. So that's two rocks that a bear has rolled over right Yeah, now. they're definitely, this is a, they're, they're definitely working this area. Yeah. At the camp, I remember, I remember when they were here, Elijah was right there, and he was like hacking away a stick with his machete, you know, and he accidentally hit one part and there was like a whole bunch of er ants squirted out at us. <laughs> he hit a nest. Yep. 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 What, Brianna? I know, I'm working my way up there, Brianna. No, it's okay. What? Yeah, I know, I see. I just watch where you're stepping here. That's really cool. It's pretty thick through here, Brianna, so be careful. In this next scene, uh, one of the next few scenes towards the end, uh, on one of the other parts of this uh, hiking trip, Brianna, I'm going to have her explain when we get back to camp. She claims and swears she had something staring at her before we actually got all the way into the woods. And whatever she saw frightened her enough the way she started crying pretty heavy about it. So we'll have, talk, we'll have her talk about that. Yeah. So right now we're exploring into the, the woods. Came across a lot of bear signs on some tracks. Uh, and something's ahead of me. Hey guys! Yeah. Something just took off right ahead of me. Really? Real heavy. I don't know, it might have gone that way. I it might have been, I don't know what it was. It ruffled the bushes real good. I don't know if I picked it up on my camera recorder or not, because I'm still recording. It might have been a bear. It might have taken off up, up towards the hill. Been what I saw. No, I don't know. I didn't see the top of it. I'm walking right in front of where it is. Brianna, stay close to me. Alright, whatever, whatever it was, it was right here in these bushes, right where I'm staring. Did you see it all what it looked like? I couldn't. I just saw the, the leaves and everything, uh, the bushes shaking and ruffling. Hey, Larry. Whatever it was, it was in these bushes right here. 
and it took off. I couldn't see where it went. I couldn't even make it out. Something took out of these bushes. Watch where you're going. Look, don't move. It went over here? I heard it. Julia, shut up. It's going no, we don't know where it went, Brianna. I heard something like that. Yeah, I know. I thought I did too. All right, we're in pursuit of something. We don't know what it was. We might have spo we spooked something up. All right, stop, Brianna. Please stop for a second. All right, I gotta put my camera away. We'll be back. Flash will use that tree right there to climb up in that tree. Hmm. Oh yeah. Brianna's eating her blueberries. Yeah, a lot of lower brush, blueberry bushes. It's pretty close here. Alright. Starting up the trail that leads to the on the upper part of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, we got the upper lake over through the trees down on the lower trail that leads to the lake. And there's Brianna, Grandpa Larry Dave is walking ahead. And let me go ahead and catch on up. Another day of enjoying beautiful nature. Hopefully we might uh, find some interesting uh, evidence and other signs out here. Uh, and uh, seeing what nature has to offer today. We had some interesting activity out in the woods yesterday. You know, we had something that was mysterious shake up a bush pretty violently and what was a mystery is we didn't see what it was that took off so <sighs> there's part of the lake down below us and people fishing yeah today's July 5th it's actually 11:45 a.m. and we're off Alright, just off the trail here, we're hiking. This seems very interesting. Right here. You got this old dead rotted tree that's been down for quite a while. You know, I don't know. Just kind of an odd structure. It looks like it's been. See how it's been brushed away? Something's. Apparently, maybe something. Took a shelter here or something. There's no smell. I don't know. It's pretty old looking. I don't know what might have been under here. 
could this be a possible juvenile shelter or, or could a hiker or somebody have done this? And there's a few possibilities. Uh, see if we get a good look on the backside here. Perhaps by the looks of it, it could have been possibly more laid up here or something at one point. I, I don't know, I just find this very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Scraping on the ground. A lot of this uh, bears foraging. Yeah. So there you go, our first sign, first structure found. Old. Don't know how long it's been used. But uh, let's keep on searching and see what else we find along this trail. Alright, back on the trail. People do that, can yeah, make small fire. fires. Pretty cool. Yeah. He said he hadn't seen any monsters up in here in the last one. No. Oh, fern! <laughs> yeah, you're going to see a lot of them, Brianna. They're natural so around here. I want to see a red fern like the movie. Look at, we got a dry creek bed right here. Oh, that's so cool. Is it wet? I want to make some people. I'm sure it uh, flows real nice with, after the rain, heavy rain. Yeah, you look, if you look up there, Brian, there's some spots that hold, have some water holding in them. Oh, yeah, like a little pit. Yep. <sighs> yeah, it's very possible to see a bear. It's a nice day. Bears get out. Um, when you were talking we're, in bear, we're in black bear territory, Brianna. Smooth bark, is this what you meant? Yep. A lot of times these right here, these make good trees to make knocks on. Oh. Yep. Or a tree that has the, uh, the bark peeled off of it sometimes. That's why, Brianna, if you're very observant, you got a lot of thick vegetation through a lot of here. But if you look around, you might spot a bear taking off or moving or sitting there or something. That's why it's always good to try to scan you. You don't want to know you don't. You know you don't. No, because the mom is always nearby. The mom is never far off. But you want to be observant and look out for those things, Brianna. Danny, better fall me. You gotta watch where you're going. I just caught you on film tripping. Shut up. Because you're not watching where you're going. <laughs> gotta learn to pick up your feet. Oh, that looks cool. Look, it's like a little yep. water structure. That's so cool. Yeah, that is neat, but that's just natural weather. Way up there. Yeah, but that's just natural right there. Old dead tree fell over. It's on a hill. Just happened to follow that way. Yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah, Brian. I don't look at stilly things like that, Brian. Uh, 
just scenery from our parkway hike. Uh, we had quite a ways to keep going, but we went a ways. We've turned them back around. Uh, Brianna, she got a little too tired, couldn't handle it no more, so we had to turn around and head back. Uh, uh, the scenery has been awesome. Having not seen no wildlife, seen some signs of bear you know, along the way, but nothing more than that. Uh, maybe some couple of crows raising heck on the way back, but that's about it. <sighs> Nothing that stands out. I'm gonna try to trek some of the creek beds and soft sandy areas and mud for tracks, but nothing. <sighs> but that's the chance you get, the chance you take when you get out to explore. You're not always gonna find something. Can't only just expect to find something. I mean, that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's all about getting out, exploring, seeking what you might find, but you won't always find. But you keep at it till you do. That's the way it ro That's the way it goes, and that's the way it should be. It's kind of interesting, a bunch of sticks just laid there over off the side. Laid out and like they've been laid there on purpose. Very interesting. Oh, back on the trail. We're almost back out at the entrance where we started, so until next time, later. All right, last night at camp. There's our fires burning. Brianna eat, well, I think she just ate, what's that? What did you just have, your third s'more? Yeah. Uh-huh. There's a camp next to us. Brianna, calm down. I doubt you can even see me. I see you very clear. Now I get away from the fire. See? I'm too dark. You think so, huh? Mm-hmm. Are you night vision? <laughs> yes, it's on night vision. Oh. That's why I see you. Either that or it's just all my awesomeness shining. Is that what it is? Yep. You get blinded by it every day. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like on the beach today? You thought that it was the sun being really hot and shot, really bright? It was just me being awesome. And by the way, whoever's watching this, let me do some. Peace! Brianna, a lot of people are going to see this. I know, which is why I'm going to do this. Brianna, you're embarrassing <laughs> yourself. <laughs> what are you going in there for? You don't need to keep going Where in there. Where is the, uh, my MP3 player? It's in here, right? You didn't touch any of my bags. I don't know, Brianna. Look, can you There's see? Look at me, look. I found the zipper. Hmm. Can you see me? Uh, whoa, are you recording?
Don't no, touch it. I'm gonna try to help you. Don't touch nothing. It's blurry, no. but just leave it right it, there. It's on, it's your no. whole face. It has autofocus. That's your whole face right there. It goes blurry in and out because it's, it's a high def camera and it's on uh, auto. Because if you were to move it anymore, you'd just be hitting your forehead. No, oh, is that what? Okay. But you got it right there, your whole face. Alright. Alright, we're recording, we're live right now. Alright, this is uh, another part. We're still on the, our last night here. Um, I can't even see the time. Oh, it's, uh, 9.56 p.m., almost 10 o'clock, July the 5th. Um, I'm with my daughter, Brianna Benoit, and, uh, Brianna, just want you to, uh, describe, yes, uh, what was it? Yesterday, yes. yes. Yesterday, as we were hiking and exploring through the woods here, uh, um, in the George Washington National Forest, and uh, here on the outskirts of Sharando. Um, now you, we were, it was me, you, and Grandpa Larry Davis. We were all doing a little hiking and squatting out in the woods, mm -hmm. and you claimed while you were walking up a little ahead of us, you had a something that frightened you. Could you please explain what you were seeing and uh, um, what it was doing? It had brown hair, dark brown hair on top, like an ape would, mm -hmm. you know, like the brow and stuff, right up, just above the eyebrow. Mm -hmm. It looked like it had either black or dark brown eyes. They looked mean, like, like that. And... He it seemed to be moving, not a lot, but just a little bit side to side. Yeah. Like an ape would, behind a tree. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, he had light beige skin. He or she had light beige skin. You call her a she. You don't know it was a she. A said he or she. Okay, go ahead. And it had, like, I would say beige kind of skin. Beige. Color, you know, tan. I don't know, like light brown. It was fur, wasn't it? Did it, it yes. You said you saw skin. How could you say you saw skin? The color of skin. Okay, go ahead. That's, that's all I saw was the head. I didn't look anywhere else. So if it was going like this, that's all you saw was the head. Mm -hmm. You didn't see no, didn't look like a shoulder or arm. Around, when he turned around, I looked like, all right, so the tree was here. It looked like he was kind of doing this. You're too something. close to see what, uh, to explain what you're doing. Or Could something. you please step back, please? All right, right there's good enough. Go ahead. It looked like he was he or she was doing something like that or like that. Now yesterday you described something totally different. No, I didn't. I said like You described this. like it was going side to side, peeking from the I tree. I did say that. Okay, but you weren't you're not demonstrating that, so that's what's throwing people off right now. We're trying to get a straight story from well, you, you if that's what you saw. You're confusing me. Well, I'm not trying to confuse you, I'm trying to get accurate truth out of you. Not like this, like not like that. It was more like a little bit. So like that, kind of like, you know. Okay. That's it. And when Brianna was trying to get my attention yesterday, when this was supposed to go on, I approached her, and whatever it was she claimed she did see, she was in complete tears. She was frightened. Uh, she wasn't that far ahead of us. She was only maybe about 15, 20, 20 feet uh, walked ahead of us. Uh, now. She swears that she saw something, and what she describes, Sasquatch. you know, I personally, even though I'm her father, I found it a little funny, and I was a little skeptic of her story myself, only because I was looking almost similar in that same direction, and when she, when I approached her and looked at where she was pointing, I did not see nothing take off, nor did I see anything movement, uh, see any movement, um, you know, however probably within five minutes later, which perhaps in one of the earlier clippings that I will be putting together, something violently was shaking a bush. Um, something was in the bushes. Something did take off, but direct, whatever direction that took off, I don't know, and I did not see what was in those bushes. So there was something up there. There had to have been something up there. So, uh, yes, I want to believe Rihanna did see something. Um, 
uh, we were after we had uh, the bushes shake and cut and take off out of there. I mean, I announced it. Uh, Larry Davis, he went on the outside. He went a little further up and around to try to see if he could, uh, you know, um, intercept it. it. Intercept it. Um, perhaps, you know, but we did not see nothing, whatever. We're shaking the bushes. We didn't see what it might have been. We didn't see where it went. So it could have been a deer bedded down, but we didn't see that. Although we have seen deer nearby earlier that day in the area. So. Uh, there's a lot of deer up here. Um, I've been seeing deer all day today, July 5th. Um, we have not seen, we've seen a lot of bear sign. Uh, I, you'll see one of the tracks in the clippings earlier. Um, so it, it's definitely a mystery. Uh, these woods are pretty active. Uh, we know there's something up here. Uh, reports have been taken from here. and So, uh, like I said, we were on the outskirts here. We're in Sharando, uh, part of the Blue Ridge Parkway on the lower... And, uh, lower area of it, and uh, well, the mystery is uh, always going to be a mystery till we make our discovery, and that's going to happen sooner or later. Um, but it's what we do when we get out here in the woods. Um, so, till you see me later, and uh, uh, further research has yet to be taking place in this area, we will be back, and uh.